Hey everybody, welcome back to a max velocity weather forecast and today what we're going over is watching the tropics episode 10 where we're going over three different Atlantic disturbances and as well as two in the Pacific. We have a lot to get to in this forecast including the newly developed tropical cyclone currently just east of the Lesser Antilles. This will make impacts to land and we have two other systems to watch very closely. One near Texas right now and also one that will be heading toward the Lesser Antilles beyond the next few days. We'll get to those in just a moment. Make sure to like button down below and subscribe for more great forecasts. Let's get right into it. So as of right now, we're going to go from left to right first. You can see that there is one area of development right now that's just to the east of Texas. This will actually probably make landfall in Texas over the next 48 to 60 hours. It has actually a 30% chance of developing over the next 48 hours. So this will be something to watch very closely. Again, it'll be going off to the west, probably towards southern Texas. So a good amount of rain will go to those areas. Potentially between about three to six inches may occur in a few isolated locations, as well as maybe some gusty winds. This may become a, either a tropical oppression or a very low end tropical storm that's what's forecasted as of right now you can also see back out to the east of that we have tropical uh, cyclone 2 this is currently a pre-tropical cyclone this is not yet a tropical storm yet mainly because it's not organized but once it starts to get a little bit of organization a little bit more of a circulation with it this will likely become our next tropical storm so this will be going over to the lesser Antilles it's likely actually to become named today by the way so it will be probably named maybe even by the time this gets uploaded uh, it'll be moving out to the west again more on the track in just a moment we also have another area of development right now that also has a 30 percent chance of developing that is heading toward the lesser Antilles this will also be something to watch very closely and eventually probably towards the greater until he's over the next 48 to 60 hours right, here's a look at potential tropical cyclone 2 as of right now there is a lot of thunderstorm activity as you can see a lot of those whites blacks are going to represent your higher cloud tops with the storms but as of right now there's no really defined area of circulation where you can really depict that there's some sort of you know tropical storm ongoing that's why it's not yet to be named but it likely will be named within the next 24 hours or so i am expecting it to be named no later than tomorrow so it will likely become our first star excuse me our second tropical storm of the season again that's heading off to the west it will likely crash into portions of the southern lesser Antilles, so it'll definitely be an area to watch once that moves off to the west towards those locations here's looking at the national hurricane center's track as of right now which is very well defined with where it's really heading as of right now so uh, again it's going to most likely become named no later than maybe tomorrow or very early tomorrow as of right now the national hurricane center is currently projecting to become a tropical storm no later than 2 a.m on wednesday so it's likely to become named again over the next 24 hours it will be crashing into lesser Antilles. we already have tropical storm warnings in effect for those in the far southern lesser Antilles there's also tropical storm watches in effect for some of the islands down here near South America um, again it'll be riding right along the coastline see overall development does not seem to be significant it will likely become a hurricane but it actually could have become even worse than what it's already being forecast to become if it stayed a bit further to the north in portions of the Caribbean Sea it will likely not become anything stronger though than maybe just a low-end hurricane you can see by about uh, Friday or so it will be making its way towards areas like um, Costa Rica and really anywhere in the Central American area. Again, it's going to be a tropical storm by then. It will likely become a hurricane no later than late Friday into Saturday morning and eventually making landfall and potentially going into even the Pacific Ocean. So this could be one of those crossover situations. Now, some of the future models beyond this time frame do bring it up this direction, which is not out of the question, but the overall chances of that are very low at this time. But watch that very closely for you. Here's a look at the tracks as of right now as well by most computer models are keeping it for the most part in this southern, in this really just west direction. It's not really varying a whole lot. Uh, but once we get closer to the areas like the Pacific Ocean, there's a lot of question marks in between where this will actually head. Will it head a bit more to the northwest, or will it just keep going at west and potentially kind of skid the Mexican coastline there in the Pacific Ocean? A lot of questions beyond now and then, but we'll watch it very closely for you. Here's a look as of right now at the intensity over the next several days as well, and you can very well see that the intensity will likely again be probably a tropical storm, uh, followed by most likely a low-end Category 1 hurricane before making landfall. There is one computer model, though, that is showing it could become a Category 4 hurricane. King. that's the only like that's the only computer model obviously showing that i don't expect to become a category four but why it's showing that is because if it were to go into the Caribbean Sea and maybe the Gulf of Mexico, if it just stayed completely off to the northwest, uh, we very well actually could see this become a major hurricane. But luckily, it seems like we're going to be in our favor. It's likely going to be staying down to the south and not going up toward the Gulf of Mexico. Very good news overall there. Luckily, we're not going to be dealing with that. All right, here's a look at the overall wind field over the next several days. Again, going to late Tuesday and the Wednesday morning, it'll eventually go through the southern lesser Antilles. That will bring winds between about 40 to 45 miles per hour. As of right now, it's right around 40. Eventually, 
actually by about Thursday afternoon, you can see the wind field still around 40 miles per hour. It really strengthens though once it gets closer to Costa Rica. Uh, wind speeds being estimated around 50 by the European model. Now the GFS model shows it to be a little bit higher by then, and then eventually going into the Pacific Ocean no later than about you know late Friday into Saturday morning. It's a quick moving system. It will not be slow. So overall flooding rain threat will be most likely fairly low. Here's a look at the tropics, by the way, a very broad look at it. We actually have another tropical wave that you might not be aware of. This is the one that I was talking about that has a 30% chance of developing. That is moving off to the west. That will likely move to the west northwest towards areas like the Lesser Antilles and eventually toward the Greater Antilles. This has a low end chance of developing, but if it were to develop, it might become some sort of tropical storm and it may even head toward Florida. Here's a look at Invest 95L as of right now. Again, this is just southeast of Texas. A lot of thunderstorm activity as of right now. This will be heading off to the northwest over the next several days. Here's your area of circulation as of right now. And again, there's some thunderstorm activity. This will likely become either just a tropical depression or a very low end tropical storm. Again, about a 30% chance of that happening. Uh, it will be moving off to the west initially and will eventually turn up to the north. Now, where it really heads from here is a massive question mark. Here's a look at the computer models as of right now and where it's bringing it. And you can really see that there's just a lot of variation in terms of at least the intensity. Most of the models are keeping it down here. Tropical storm level or lower and really low end tropical storm is all that will happen. Otherwise, just a tropical depression or just an invest and here's a look at the tracks as of right now and again the tracks are what is varying significantly and it really depends on a lot of factors but you can see over the next 24 hours this will very slowly move down to the west southwest eventually there's a lot of question marks will this kind of turn back up here the north and potentially heads toward the areas like north texas or east texas or will this head off to the northwest and potentially go towards areas that really need the rain like areas like the hill country and as well as central texas it is still a massive question mark but definitely an area to watch very closely again the computer models vary from as far south and as far west as areas like the Texas or Mexico border and as well as even going up this way to this direction again possibly going towards East Texas or even maybe into Arkansas just a lot of question marks again we'll keep you updated with the latest on that now, let's take a look at the Saharan dust again yellows reds all representing your Saharan dust anything else is just clouds or it's just you know no Saharan dust at all so as of right now not really any Saharan dust to impact any systems over in the Gulf of Mexico but over here in the Atlantic Ocean a lot of Saharan dust right now really centered around that Bermuda high that is likely to stay there for the next several days that will not impact a whole lot in terms of these tropical developments other than this one tropical wave once it heads off to the west northwest may interact with a little bit of Saharan dust that might help to keep it a little bit weaker if it were to become sort some sort of tropical storm. And here's a look at trop our tropical oppression Celia as well. This is another system we've watching for a while. Again, it has a pretty tight circulation, but uh, as of right now, it's down to a tropical depression. Very minimal thunderstorm activity. You can just see there's a lot of greens and blues. That's representing weak thunderstorm activity overall. So we're really not looking at a whole lot in terms of this system. Again, it's going to be moving off to the west northwest, much cooler waters, more shear. Really going to help to weaken the storm overall. You can see here's the track over the next 24 to 48 hours. Not a whole lot to be noted here, other than it's going to be a uh, post tropical cyclone, and it is just going to be a tropical depression as it moves off to the west northwest now beyond now i mentioned this because it actually may turn back up to the northeast very few models are showing that but if it were to turn up back off to the northeast it might bring some rainfall to mexico or some of those areas as well and maybe even eventually head toward the united states not to become most likely any sort of tropical storm or anything but definitely an area to watch as that moves off to the northeast here's again a little bit of a reminder on the names as of right now so if that tropical uh the, the potential tropical cyclone 2 becomes named it would be named bonnie and then eventually the next one be colin danielle Earl basically goes on and on those are the names though that over the next probably you know month or two will probably be named again Bonnie's gonna be the next one so if that were to develop it will likely probably develop uh, it will be named tropical storm Bonnie so just keep that in mind again just a reminder of where we are at in the tropical season as of right now uh, again we are just pat we're at the end of June right now this is where we are and uh, again it really starts to ramp up once we get closer to late July and early August we start to see a lot more tropical systems so stay buckled up again make sure to stay updated with uh, Max Lost here on our YouTube page for the latest we'll keep you updated and make sure to subscribe turn on post notifications down below and like the video uh, again back up here closer to September 10th is our peak I've mentioned this every forecast so just kind of remind you on where we're at in this tropical season all right make sure to like button down below subscribe this forecast is brought to by platinum contracting all that's repair and patriot safe rooms